today's video, we'll talk about if you should buy a 48 volt Uno battery for your golf cart. Find out how this American made battery stacks up against the others and uh, how the easy it is to install. UnoBatteries.com will show you the single model and the dual model, which are two 90 amp hours in parallel. The batteries do have a very DIY friendly how to get started quick guide that will show you step by step how to assemble your battery. <clears throat> Don't forget to register your warranty. If you need to reach out to Uno Battery, they have a how to get a hold of us contact phone number here in the United States up in Idaho. They have live people ready to help you out. Um, I am really impressed with the technology. Uh, behind the Uno battery. They're actually a uh, smaller company from their larger ownership of Titan Batteries. Titan Batteries is a large drone battery manufacturer. They also do some airsoft. And uh, what's really nice is that the engineering behind Titan Battery got together to develop the Uno battery. If there's any changes to the battery, they can do it real quick and uh, get it done. So anyway, it is a lithium net, uh, nickel manganese cobalt 18650 cell. Okay, so we just got the Uno battery and it just shipped to us and we're gonna do the opening up to see what you get when you order one. We do sell these at Deep Cycle Battery San Diego and you can order these directly from Uno as well. And so you know what we're getting, you get the lithium battery logo there for shipping. This is gonna be the 48 volt 90 amp hour kit. And we have the uh, easy go connector plug. I'll talk to you about that later. This is going to be our Uno battery by itself, and there should be some other accessories to go with it. The reason why I'm doing this video is to talk to you about probably the most user-friendly battery I've seen that's going to be DIY-friendly. DIY so there we have our Uno battery. Cut this guy open, see what we got here. We have a fuel gauge. The Uno battery does have an app. So we technically don't need this relatively simple, um, uh, this little voltmeter gauge. And what else we have? Some zip ties and some, oh yeah, and these are the, uh, these little Pac-Man looking guys. These are what we, can, we, what we could use if we want to use zip ties to connect the battery down inside the cart. I don't think we're going to use that for the EasyGo RXV that I have intentions of uh installing this in and then let's see what we got here this is for the this is gonna be for the uh, no co charge port that we could install i think we will install it so we can leave the charger on board and plug it in there's some nuts and bolts we'll find out what those go to later and here's the no co charge port this is pretty cool that they give you i usually have to order these on amazon if i want to add it to a customer's cart what this is going to do is you can see that the charger that uh, Uno supplies has an AC supply that will plug into here, and then we can drill a hole into the side of the uh, easy, to the golf cart, and then we can have a charge port here, so we can just simply plug in the cart without having to lift up the seat. Okay, so that's cool. Get this Uno battery. Oh yeah, and this is the, okay, so as we go through, the, I always like the color of the Uno battery. It's pretty cool with the white and green. This is where the charger's gonna, this is called the charge point, or port, I'm sorry. This is where their charger is gonna interface into this, and it's a D-shaped plug, so it's pr fairly simple to get the polarity correct when you plug this in. Here we have the junction box. Let's pull out the Uno battery. And she does, have a little bit of weight to her, but again, this is the same size of a six volt golf cart battery. Let's get our Uno battery out. Just gonna grab it by the leads here and pull it out on the ground. It's a hot day in San Diego. Just trying to cake, stay cool. This is really cool. So this is where the they call this the load box. This is really cool what Uno did. So again, this is all going to be shipped to you as a kit. And what this is going to do is it has, this is another D-shaped plug. I really like it. You cannot get the polarity mixed up. We're going to pull the tape off of this. And this is going to connect directly to the battery. 
and uh, they do ask you to read the um, what do you want to call it the manual before you install your battery um, it's for safety the biggest things you don't never want to do is use a different charger that other than what uno supplies you with we don't want to do anything that's going to avoid the warranty it is a 10-year warranty why would you do something by modifying the battery i know one thing they they're real big upon people sometimes drill into the batteries and do some really interesting things to modify it never do that so really cool here so we have two d-shaped looking devices and the polar or the polarity is built in to be connected just like that you make your connection now what's really cool is they give you this box and when you take these screws off this is where the they call this the load center the golf cart has a positive and negative load that will coordinate you got red positive black negative those loads will will jump on here and will land here on these uh 5 16th studs and we'll take this box off and make those connections so basically it's a bus bar here we got the charger really cool they supplied a 48 volt charger and let's see what its output is it's a 50 okay 58.8 volts which is the maximum voltage you can charge this battery it has a 15 amp output it is a smart charger it has a uh red less than 80 percent this is real standard less than 80 percent yellow or yeah yellow greater than 80 percent green 100 percent state of charge hey quick to know when the battery is fully charged disengage the charger lithium does not like to float so if your battery is 100 percent it'll be blink green you can also open up the app to verify it's 100 percent unplug the charger they give us some of these really long zip ties in case we have to have a irregular installation maybe you have metal grids running inside your golf cart where the old lead acid used to sit you can utilize these got your uh, warranty website really friendly how to install step by step again this is the easiest diy off the shelf lithium battery i've ever seen and then more zip ties when you open up and get your uno battery it does ship to you in a sleep mode so if you hook up the golf cart and wonder why there's no power coming out of it you actually wake up the uno battery by connecting the charger to it and I'm going to be using a very, very thick, about the thickest extension cord I could find. And I believe it's only 20 feet. You don't want to have thin, long extension cords when you charge your golf cart batteries, no matter what the Uno or lead acid, but even worse with lead acid, because you have a voltage drop when you use undersized, a very long extension cords. On that same note, I'm going to plug into an outlet that has only the charger operating on it. Don't use a power strip. Don't share the outlet with a refrigerator or god you know forbid a compressor because it'll brown out the charger so again so simple we're gonna have the d-shaped plug we're gonna hook up the charger to the charger port and then i'm gonna i got my energy or i got my ac supply lit up and then the battery is dark so we should see it wake up and we plug it in let's plug this in Boom, charger's plugged in. And let's see what happens here. Charger just kicked on. Battery is awake. Look at that, it's blinking. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Nope, I'm sorry, one, two. Two, two flashes. The reason why I plugged in the charger to the wake up the battery is before I go through the the labor of installing a battery. I want to make sure that the battery is functional and ready to go. I do recommend uh, this procedure with any battery you, you decide to install. Uh, with the Uno, we could open up the app and verify that it's taken a charge and what its current state of charge is. Uh, with other lithium batteries, you may have to get a voltmeter and probe the terminals. It's just a good idea to check your battery before you install it. Inside the Uno manual, they give you a legend for what the codes mean on the blinking lights. We have a series of green, blue, and red. When the battery came, it was actually in sleep mode. We woke it up and we had two green lights, which meant the healthy pack can be charged and discharged. You can see the blue has a uh, B symbol, which means you have a low voltage and your shutdown is coming to happen real soon. Without the B, the pack is in storage mode to be in left charge too long. When you start to see a red, you can see the pack voltage has reached a dangerous level. And the red says the BMS 
uh, will be empty and the pack cannot be charged or discharged. So pay attention to these lights and uh, respond accordingly to what they are telling you what to do.